Blender Lesson Plan 21 Director's Cut Start Blender Click on Video Editing Now click on Add and select Movie Option Then browse through the system for video file Add the video file onto the sequencer Now pan out the sequencer window by clicking the slider at bottom and dragging it to shrink the sequencer pane to display the full length of video. Adjust the frame rate to match with the length of the video by clicking at the end of video. Now observe the end frame number in the current frame tab. Enter that frame number in the end tab to adjust the sequencer pane play the full length of video. Now to add sound to the video we need to click on add tab. Then select Sound option from the drop-down menu. We will be asked to select the desired audio clip so browse through your system to select the desired audio clip. Then add it onto the channel 1 strip. Now on the RHS go to Sound option. Click on it to display the volume option. Now click on the display waveform box check it to enable waveform representation on audio strip. Enter numerical value in the volume tab to increase the amplitude of the sound waveform thus raising the sound level. When you enter a high value such as 2 then the waveform display will show red color in the waveform indicating amplification of sound beyond threshold level thus causing distortion. If you enter 0 then the waveform will be a flat line indicating no volume. So we need to choose a suitable volume level which is distortionless. Next is the pan effect. To add pan effect you need to enable the mono check box because pan effect works only on mono channels. So check the mono check box under volume tab to enable pan tab. The range of pan value you can enter is from minus 2 to plus 2. Negative value depicting pan effect from left side of your speakers. Now to enter a keyframe for this pan value we need to hover our mouse over the pan tab and press a button on our keyboard. Notice the color will change to yellow to indicate a keyframe point has been entered. Now after playing the audio for some time pause it and change the pan value to minus 1. Again hover your mouse over the pan tab and press I key on your keyboard to enter a keyframe point in your video. Follow above steps for subsequent values of 0, plus 1 and plus 2 and enter them in pan tab and insert keyframe points. Now to observe the pan effect we just created play your video and you can hear the sound being played from your left to your right. You can check it by pausing the video at any instant and refer the pan value at that moment in the pan tab. Similarly for the entire video you can add pan effect and observe the pan value by pausing the video. Now to add the fade and slash out effect. Select the audio strip and right click on it with your mouse. From the drop down menu select fade. Then select fad in option. This will open a window where you can enter the duration of the fade in value. Enter any substantial number. The display waveform will show flat line at the beginning of the audio clip for the specified time duration and it increases gradually creating a fade in effect. To clear the effect just right click on it and select clear fade. You will see your original display waveform on audio strip. Now to create fade out effect follow same procedure and select fade out option. Enter any value and here the end part of the audio will be faded out. End of part 1 of lesson plan 21. Continued in part 2.